people often think that tools such as Publisher Rocket is a must, but it's not. And in this video, I'm going to show you a method of conducting keyword research manually and also assigning data to them. I recently released a course teaching you the entire process of low content publishing from start to finish. It's a course aimed at beginners and also those of you who may be struggling in certain aspects of KDP. It's a pay as you want course and you're able to pay whatever price you want over the minimum amount. If you're interested in that, then do check it out. Link is in the description below. So keyword research tools such as Publisher Rocket, they give you a bunch of keywords that you can potentially use on your books and they also give you data related to these keywords. So you can see that there's data such as average pages, number of competitors, average price, etc. But the three most important data are the ones you can see here. So firstly, the average monthly earnings and then estimated searches and then a competitive score. So these three pieces of data are the most important. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to figure these out for yourselves and assign these data. And these data assigned by these tools are of course generated by the system and the software, which means that if the softwares can generate these kinds of data, then we can also do the same but manually. And the only thing is that it's going to take a little bit longer to conduct keyword research. So Publisher Rocket can be used for several things, keyword research, analyzing competition, category search, and also finding keywords to use as part of your ads campaigns. But the main reason people buy Publisher Rocket or keyword tools is to be able to search for and find profitable keywords. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly that, how to find profitable keywords and assign the three key pieces of data. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to find keywords and then assign a rating for demand. So we're gonna rate the keywords out of 10. And then I'm going to show you how to assign a competitive score as well, also out of 10. And then once I've done that, I'm going to assign a rating to the keywords. But the first thing I'm going to try to figure out is the average monthly earnings for the niche. So I'm just gonna go over here and you can see that I've already typed in diabetes logbook. And you can see that just ignoring the sponsored products that the main three or four books, they have quite a low BSR. So this one has 20,000, this one 24,000, and this one over here 29,000. And then these books here, you can see that they've got an even higher BSR, but we want to work out the potential of this niche. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna use an average figure of the first three books, which is around 25,000. So if I go over here to this BSR tool, I'm just gonna type in 25,000 over here. And you can see that the tool is estimating that I can sell 330 copies a month. So if each of these books were to bring in $2 in royalties, that would mean that I can potentially make a total of $660 a month in royalties, provided that of course I create a good book and also rank it onto the first page. So what I'm gonna do is over here in the spreadsheet, I'm just gonna type in $660 over here. So this is the potential of the niche. The next thing I'm going to do is look for the keywords. So I'm just gonna go back over here and as a starting point to find the keywords, you just want to type in the niche that you're publishing in. So it's a diabetes logbook, so you can see that I've already typed it in. And I'm just gonna look for some keywords that I can potentially research and assign data to. So the first book I'm looking at is this one here. So the title is Blood Sugar Logbook. So what I'm gonna do is head over to a new tab and I'm gonna start typing in this keyword. So Blood Sugar. And I'm gonna type in slowly because I wanna see how many letters are required for me to type in before the keyword appears. So you can see that after typing in blood and then SU, there's still no sign of the keyword. So I'm gonna type in the letter G to see if anything appears. And then the entire word, so blood sugar. And now you can see that the keywords appeared. So what this tells me is that yes, this keyword does have demand, but it doesn't have as much demand as these keywords. And the way I know this is because when you type something in on Amazon, they usually show the keywords that have the most demand at the top and then keywords that have less demand at the bottom. So based on this knowledge, what I'm gonna do is firstly add in this keyword into my spreadsheet. So blood sugar logbook. And then for the demand out of 10, cause it's appeared near to the bottom, I'm gonna give it a rating of six. And then what I'm gonna do is head back over to this tab and then I'm gonna search for other keywords. So you can see that there's the keyword blood sugar diary. So what I'm gonna do is head back over here and then start typing that in. 
So blood sugar followed by D. And you can see that the keyword diary is at the bottom. Now I've had to type in D for this keyword to appear, which means that this keyword has even less demand compared to blood sugar logbook. So what I'm going to do is type in this keyword over here. And I'm going to assign it a rating of three. So once again, it does have demand, but it doesn't have as much demand as blood sugar logbook. So I'm just going to head back over to this tab and then I'm going to try and find more keywords. So the next keyword I'm going to try out is diabetes logbook. So once again, I'm going to go back over here and then I'm going to start typing in diabetes. So I want to see how quick this keyword appears. So after typing in the keyword diabetes, I can't see diabetes logbook over here. So I'm just going to start typing in logbook. So firstly, the letter L. And you can see that now there's diabetes log and then diabetes logbook for type 2. So more people are searching for diabetes log in comparison to diabetes logbook for type 2. But I'm going to jot down both of these keywords and assign ratings to them. So firstly diabetes log. So I'm going to give this keyword a rating of 7. And then diabetes logbook for type 2. I'm going to give this keyword a rating of 5. And that's because it's appeared below the keyword diabetes log. So this way what you want to do is find more keywords and just assign ratings to them. You can see that there's the keyword diabetic logbook. So I'm going to type that in. So instead of diabetes it's diabetic. And you can see that after typing in the letter L after diabetic, the keyword diabetic logbooks for type 2 has appeared as well as the keyword diabetic logbooks. And as both of these keywords have appeared close to each other, I'm just going to give them the same rating. So firstly, I'm just going to type them in over here. So diabetic logbook for type 2 instead of diabetes. And then diabetic logbooks. And then based on the knowledge of where they've appeared in the searches, I'm just going to give them a rating of 6. And of course with these ratings, you can never be 100% accurate. And it's no different to tools such as Publisher Rocket. You know, it does give all of this data, but we can't say for sure and 100% that it's always accurate. And that's something that you have to accept with keyword research that you won't always be able to accurately find out the demand and competition of the keywords. You can try your best and use tools and methods to help you, but they'll never be 100% accurate. So in this way, what you want to do is find a bunch of keywords. I'm not going to continue looking for more keywords, otherwise this video is just going to be too lengthy. So I'm just going to move on to the next step, which is to assign competitive scores to these keywords. So what you want to do is search for all of these keywords in separate tabs. So I'm just going to do that now. So I've done that and what I'm going to do now is try to figure out how much competition these keywords have. And when figuring this out, what you want to do is you want to see how many books have a ton of reviews or have more than 100 reviews. And also how many books there are on the first page that have been released within the last few months. So looking at the first of these things, which is reviews, you can see that there's one book over here that has more than 100 reviews. And then there's another one here and then a third one over here. There's another one over here. So this tells me that this particular keyword is quite competitive. But at the same time, I'm also looking for books that have been released recently. So this one over here, it was released around a year ago, which isn't recent. And then this one here, a couple of years ago. So I'm just trying to find some books that have been released within the last few months. And for this particular keyword, I can't really find any. So based on this knowledge, I'm just going to go back over here. And I'm going to give it a competitive score of 9 out of 10, which means that this particular keyword is extremely competitive. So for this competitive score, what you want is for the number to be low, whereas demand you want it to be high. So I'm just going to check on the next keyword, which is blood sugar diary. So you can see that I've searched for it over here. And once again, you can see that there's books that have over 100 reviews. And then I'm just going to see if I can find a couple that have been released within the last few months. So this one here, it was released around 10 months ago. 
and then if I just scroll down this book here around six months ago and then this one here once again six or seven months ago so I can't find any books that have been released recently so once again this particular keyword is competitive so I'm going to assign it a competitive score of once again nine out of ten and then the next keyword diabetes log so looking at the reviews you can see that there's so many books that have over a hundred reviews but over here you can see that there's this particular book that was released a few months ago in November which tells me that perhaps this keyword isn't as competitive as the other keywords but I'm going to see if I can find one or two more so this book you can see that it was released in December only a couple of months ago so based on this knowledge I'm going to give this keyword a competitive score of 7 out of 10 and then the next keyword diabetes logbook for type 2 So once again you can see that there's all these books that have over a hundred reviews and I can't seem to find any that were released within the last few months. So based on this I'm going to give this keyword a rating of 9 out of 10. So what you want to do is when using this keyword method you want to find a lot more keywords. You can see that I've only found 7 at the moment but when you're doing it yourself you want to find a lot more keywords. You want to assign a rating for demand and then competitive score. And then once you've done that you want to give the keywords your own rating and you're either going to rate it green or red. So you'll rate it green if these two data are in your favour which in this case for the keyword blood sugar logbook it's not. And then if the keywords are in your favor, for example, the keyword diabetes log, then you want to color it in in green. And once you've done that, you'll have a bunch of keywords that are rated as green and then keywords that are rated as red. And what you'll then do is use the keywords that are rated as green as part of your title, subtitles, etc. And you'll give priority to them over the keywords that you've colored in red. So when creating a title, for example, if I go over here, you'll create your title prioritizing the keywords that you've labeled as green and you'll also do the same with the subtitle and then if you have any remaining spaces or in the seven keyword boxes in the back end then you'll fill them up using the other keywords. So that concludes this video and I hope you've learned how to conduct keyword research manually yourself as an alternative to tools such as Publisher Rocket. Let me know down in the comments below of what you think of this manual method and if you're going to give it a try. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like it and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.